All right, guys. Now welcome back with a new video. Today I'm gonna show you what I do when I have pretty much every PC, but this time we are with a laptop, and what I do to optimize it and get the most performance out of it. <laughs> Now the first thing I do is just run driver booster. Now to get this program you just go on Chrome, write driver booster, and you just download it from here. And this basically gives you um, all your drivers um, updated. So once you have your driver updated, you can also do it manually, that's good. Um, here I start. Now the first thing I do is just type msconfig uh, down here in my start menu. Then I go on services. Then I go on high all Microsoft services, and at this point, I pretty much disable everything which I don't need. Uh, in this case, I will just leave the NVIDIA and the Intel services and delete pretty much everything else. All right. That, then I hit apply, and I hit OK. Uh, then now we need to reboot our PC, but we're going to do it the, at the end, so we're not going to reboot it. All right. At this point, I just double click here and go Task Manager. Then I go on Boot Up, Startup, and I just disable everything which you don't need. Then I just go on Settings, just type here Settings, and then I quickly optimize all of them. But before that, I just want to go down here, type in Control Panel, then go on System which is here. Then you wanna go to advance the system options. Now here, under performance, you want to um, hit this one to pretty much uncheck everything. And then you wanna, like, you can pretty much choose however you want this one, but how I like it is I want um, my characters um, to look good, so you know, the one that modifies how you see text, I check that one. And then I also want to see what is inside the windows. So I check uh, um, to show like the content of the window. And I also want to see the preview in a set of the icons. Then I hit apply, hit OK, and this one is done. Then under startup, this one, you want to uncheck this guy and hit OK. Now, under remote connection, we don't want anybody connecting to our PC, so we disable that one, hit OK. Then, under system protection, we can go on uh, uh, you know, this setting here and just disable it. Uh, now, this one won't uh, let you like the possibility to um, fix your computer, let's say, but the point is, if you have something which is so you know, dangerous that, that you have to do this, to do this thing, you know, you're better off just doing a fresh install, so we don't need that. All right, and that's pretty much it. At this point, we can just go over on settings, as I told you before, and just optimize those ones. Now on system, here, all right, nothing here. Here, you want to uncheck your notification, we don't want any of those. Uh, here, you know, just disable everything. That now here, this is pretty crucial, you want to go on uh, here, and now here, if you are on desktop, you will have um, performance, and, and you just want to check performance. But if you are on laptop, or you don't have the performance option, here is how you do it. Just go here, then, uh, you know, you, you can set this one as you want it, but this is how I like it. So set pretty much everything or never, then we go on advanced. Now. I never want my hard drive to be disabled. Now, um, we do not want our wireless um, device to be disabled. Now here, we do not want it to hibernate, so we just disable everything. All right. Now, 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 Intel graphics settings, Intel power plan. Wanna put it on maximum performance on both of them. Uh, maybe I can leave it 
unbalanced on the battery settings if you want to save some battery that's up to you um, then here TDP level we want to set it to the max and as you can see it's already to the max but again if you want to save some power you might want to downstep it on the battery settings now PCI Express uh, we don't want it to be enabled because this can actually lose your performance in games now here uh, I want my CPU to be at max performance uh, if it is on um, like connected to the actual AC uh, then you know this one we can leave it on passive this one really saves a lot um, when it comes to battery in some laptops so that's quite important then on screen we don't want it to be disabled and all right now those ones are optional you can pretty much do whatever you want like if you want to if you don't want the laptop to go into battery saving mode etc but th those are the key settings then we hit apply and okay that's good now we go back here all right now again under storage here uh, we want this one to be disabled now here if you use the tablet mode you might want to set this one different but I don't so in setting like that now those ones um, if you use it you can leave it here uh, I personally used it so I will leave it here now this, this one disabled though uh, all right here you want to disable everything here already disabled now here it's good all right now here on the devices Bluetooth if you use it leave it enabled um, I personally use it right now uh, now I want to manually mm, set my my you know printer and I also don't use it uh, right now this one you can do it as you want touchpad again as you want uh, right now this one you want to disable everything all right this one disabled I don't want any services running in the background so this one is gonna be disabled as well all right now we just go here uh, if you are on desktop and you are using uh, um, a LAN cable disable the Wi-Fi if you are not using a VPN disable it here you know as before and this one you, you can leave it enabled all right now here you can pretty much set everything as you prefer it just disable this one um, all right here you want to set an image and we don't want this one and we don't want this one uh, maybe this one yeah all right uh, this one you, you can change it if you want to uh, now I don't want any of those I don't we don't want notification there and this one I personally prefer the PowerShell but again this one optional all right now we want to go over on apps now here if you want to take time you can pretty much delete everything you don't use but now right now I don't really care uh, we want to all right offline maps you can disable them if you want to uh, all right now web apps disabled okay this one you know if you want to like get better quality you might want to change this one I personally will now startups again we already did that now here an account uh, you might want to change that all right and disabled this guy all right all right that's pretty much it now under games I don't want the game bar if you're using it again just leave it there now to record the stuff I personally use Camtasia so you know don't need this one game mode uh, you can leave this one enabled like on very old computers it might help and right now I'm gonna leave it enabled but 
you know, on more recent computer I found that it like you, do, you don't really need it, so you might as well disable it. All right. Now here under accessibility, want to disable this one. Uh, disable this one. You can change your, you know, arrow if you want to. You can make it bigger. I maybe will make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it better. All right. Now I personally like this one. But then again, it's another service running in the background, but hey, I like it, so I will enable it. Um, if if you don't like it, it's better if you leave it off. Now, color filters, don't need them. Here, I don't use it, so I will disable everything. All right. Now here again, if you want those things, uh, just leave them, but I mean, you probably won't need them, to be honest, unless you have a very specific use case, but okay. All right, now here, here, all right. And now here we go. Want to disable, don't want any of those. And here, unless you have like really fast SSD, just leave it on classic. Okay, now under privacy, everything disabled, disabled, now here we want to set it on never and delete those ones, here we don't want anything, say delete, alright, we don't want them to be able to see where we're at, uh, if you use your camera leave it on, I don't. Microphone, I'm using it. If you don't, disable it. This one, disable it. Disable. Alright. Notification, we don't want any of those. Uh, to be honest, if, if you're using like notification but, but you just don't want them in your apps, you can leave this one enabled and just disable this one, but I'm not using any. Alright. Now, account info, we don't want them. Same here. Uh, this one you might want to leave it as enabled here, here. Unless you're using like an email app, you can disable that one. Disabled and pretty much disable everything. Now here, this one is pretty like you want to disable everything you can, but be careful not to disable what you're using. So I personally don't use any of those. And like this doesn't mean that you're gonna be disabling them. This just means that they're not gonna be running in the background, you know. All right. Now here, have the diagnostic. You don't want that. You don't want this one. Documents, images, videos, file system. All right. Now here we go to update and security. Um, we don't want uh, any download. Now security, uh, we're gonna do that one later. Backup, don't want any. Mm, all right, this one you might change it if you want to. All right, all right, all right. Now let's go to the security. Just type in Windows Defender and go on security. Good. Now we want to ignore this one. Ignore this one. Ignore this one. Then open up this guy. And you, you, you can leave real time protection on, but disable everything else. And then just ignore them all. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Now another thing which I do, which is really key when it comes to performance, is I just simply go, go on Chrome go here and I google in spectra um, I will also leave a link down in the description if, if you want to use that one then I open this guy and here I go on download now and I get this in spectra here then I just put it on my desktop double right click run as an administrator now I just disable both of them then I hit exit 
I restart my computer and this one is gonna make your computer super snappy guys and especially if it is an old laptop it's really gonna be a game changer and I do this thing on every PC I build and on every PC I need to optimize for friends etc alright guys now this is it uh, you might want to drop a sub you also might want to follow me on Instagram all the links are gonna be in the description 